Hey y'all. So I feel pretty hip on the YouTube scene, okay? Uh, hip enough to know that people like to watch favorite videos. People will watch these videos and they don't know why, but they do it, uh, and that's just the facts. These are videos in which YouTubers will talk about all the cool and great things that they bought and enjoyed that month. And I'm definitely a watcher of these videos, okay? I don't know why I watch it, because I know that I'll probably never buy any of the things that they talk about. You know, they usually talk about their favorite cosmetic product or their favorite bath product or some cool like air purifying machine or something which is great but I mean if, if it's not $5 I'm just not gonna buy it so anyway since finding this Oprah sweatshirt uh, at the Goodwill a while ago uh, I just feel like it was my assigned duty to pay a homage to the very lady who invented uh, favorite things. So I just thought that we could share our favorite things together, you know? Just me and Oprah. <laughs> you see, what sets me apart from the rest is that I'm here to talk to the common people. It's tough economic times right now, you know? I know that none of y'all can afford a $50 face cream, okay? <laughs> So without further introduction, let's just get right into it. Oprah, what do you say? Hell yeah, girl. <laughs> nice. All right, let's start off as basic as it gets. My number one favorite thing that's uh, been in my life for quite some time now, uh, unscented deodorant. I mean, it doesn't really matter the brand at all, okay? Uh, just that it's unscented, uh, that's what's important. So I made the switch to unscented deodorant uh, a while back now. It was one hot summer day in my youth. I remember it just like yesterday. My friend was just applying some of her deodorant. I don't know, like fresh flower scent or something. It's, I don't know. But the point is, is that the minute she applied it, it was as if it just immediately entered my, my mouth. You know, it's like I could taste it. It was just like, it traveled directly from her armpit into my body and it just kind of really made me feel uncomfortable. It was like I was like eating her armpit or something. It was just, ah, uh, ah, you know, like, mm. So since that day forward, I made a point to never force anyone to smell smells coming from my armpit. I mean, if you want to dab a little perfume on your body here and there, that's cool. But I vowed to never let my signature scent be one that was protruding from my pits. But that's just me. So, uh, unscented deodorant. Pick some up for yourself at uh, any drugstore, probably. Uh, Walmart. Yeah. Okay, so uh, next, uh, there's no really good segue into this one at all, so let's just jump right into it. Uh, these olives. Uh, I really like these olives. Uh, I hear those naysayers in the back though, okay? I know there's some people out there booing me right now, those olive haters. Uh, I know olives are a bit of a controversial food item and people love them or they hate them, you know? But let me tell you a little story about when I was younger and I too hated olives. I thought they were just nasty until one day I saw stopped and took a hard look at myself and I was just like, is this, is this the life that I want to be living? Is this really the kind of person that I want to be? The answer was hell nah. So I made the conscious decision to force myself to like olives and it worked and no regrets. Anyway, so these olives are great. Um, I particularly like the ones that just have uh, garlic in them. These are garlic, double stuffed garlic and jalapeno. So uh, it's a spicy adventure in every bite. <laughs> Pick up a jar of these babies at uh, any local Costco, probably. They should be there. Mm -hmm. All right, so my next favorite thing is pretty high on my list. Uh, I couldn't really make a favorite video without including this thing. If, if you can pick one up for yourself at any point, I'd highly recommend it. Uh, dogs. Dogs are great. Uh, I picked up this one about uh, nine months ago, and let me tell you, my life's better than ever. I mean, dogs are cute, uh, they're cool, they're fun, uh, they do funny things sometimes, they're fun to be around, uh, they're really nice to hug. If you could hug a dog, it's, it's nothing like it. They're just great, and uh, I've been really enjoying this one in particular. Um, if you can find yourself one kind of like this, uh, you'd be really lucky. This is a, it's a great, it's a great one for sure. Uh, so you can find one of these for yourself probably at any uh, shelter or rescue foundation. Uh, they'll probably have a lot of these kicking around. So I go check it out. <laughs> mm. 
Okay, so if you aren't quite responsible enough to own a living thing, that's fine. Uh, definitely look into picking up one of my next favorite things, which is uh, stuffed animals. Now stay with me here, okay? Stuffed animals are amazing. So I got my first stuffed animal uh, of my adult life. Uh, over five years ago as part of a $10 gift exchange thing and let me tell you my life's been at least a little bit better ever since. When you're picking up one for yourself uh, my advice to you would be get one with a little booty to it okay? Uh, one with a little junk in the trunk as they say. You know one that, that's gonna squeeze real nice while you're trying to fall asleep. And for my ladies out there uh, it's kind of nice having this to squish between your boobs while you sleep uh, when you don't have a bra on you know and you got that kind of say problem. It's nice to get a stuffed animal in there. Y'all know what I'm talking about. So this particular one came from Ikea uh, a long time ago, so uh, I'd recommend checking there. I don't know. Pick one up for yourself. Trust me. Okay, so lastly, I'm just going to talk about one YouTuber and one musician that I've really been into this month. The YouTuber I'm going to mention is actually a YouTuber and a musician, uh, so you're getting a bit of two-for-one action there. Her name is Haley Blay. You know when you find a new YouTuber and you're just like, oh shit yeah, and you just slam that subscribe button so hard and you never look back? That's what happened with this girl. She's the perfect mix of both funny and musical, uh, which is something that I try to strive for in my daily life, and uh, she just, she pulls it off, so uh, check her out, she's great. I'll leave a little linky dinky in the dinkery doo down there if you wanna clickety boo uh, on the, her channel and check out more. And lastly is a band that I'm just getting into by the name of Power Bottom. YouTube actually suggested this one to me, uh, a video of them playing NPR's Tiny Desk Concert series, and I saw it and I was just like, what is this? And then I listened to it and I was just like, wow, everything finally makes sense, you know? And I, I bought their album and my life's perfect now, so. Uh, they're a queer punk rock duo, and they do whatever the fuck they want, and I love it. So I'll leave another little linky poo in the dinky do of uh, the video that made me fall in love with them, so you should check it out. All right, so that's it for my first ever round of favorite things. Uh, Oprah, how'd I do? I mean, honestly, it was a bit long and ranty, but uh, whatever. <laughs> Oprah. Thanks for watching. Bye!